Israel has been blamed for attacks across Lebanon that turned communication devices into mini bombs, just as it said it was expanding its war goals away from Gaza. Many of you have been asking, why has this happened? So here's a quick look at what's going on. The latest wave of attacks started when thousands of pages exploded in Lebanon. A day later, hundreds of radios, laptops and walkie-talkies blew up. Many of the devices belonged to members of Hezbollah, but the blasts also killed civilians, including children. Thousands of bystanders were also injured. Now, as is standard, Israel's declined to comment, but its conflict with Hezbollah appears to be reaching a critical moment, and it goes a long way back. Hezbollah was formed in the 1980s after Israel invaded Lebanon. Its main aim was to fight Israel's invasion. The two have been enemies ever since and fought a devastating war in Lebanon in 2006. And when Israel began its war in Gaza last year, after the Hamas attack, Hezbollah responded by launching rockets into northern Israel. Since then, Hezbollah and Israel have been attacking each other almost daily. Tens of thousands of people on both sides have had to flee. Now, on the night before the pager attacks, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu added a new aim to his war goals to return those displaced Israelis back to their homes. He reiterated that point on Wednesday. I already said that we will return to the Israeli Zafon in the city of Batem. And that's how we do it. Israel's defense minister also said Israel is now in a new phase of war, suggesting that it's shifting focus from Gaza to Lebanon. So Israel continues to pummel Gaza, where it's accused of genocide, is yet to wipe out Hamas, or rescue the remaining captives. And now is threatening a new phase of war against Hezbollah, raising fears more civilians will pay the price. 